every single seat in the House of Representatives is on the ballot come Election Day 2024. And Republicans' majority, it's razor thin when it comes to the House of Representatives. Now one of the brave men who risked his own life to protect the Capitol on January 6th is looking to go from law enforcement to lawmaker. Former Capitol Police Officer Harry Dunn announced that he's running for Congress in Maryland, and the seat being vacated by retiring Representative John Sarbanes. Dunn, who testified before the January 6th committee in 2022, announced his candidacy on Friday, just one day before the third anniversary of the day that changed his life. He wrote, quote, on January 6th, I defended our democracy from insurrectionists as a Capitol Police officer. After, President Biden honored me with the Presidential Citizens Medal. Today, I'm running for Congress to stop Trump's MAGA extremists and ensure it never happens again. And Harry Dunn joins me now. First and foremost, thank you for coming in. How big a role is January 6th the reason you decided to run for Congress? Prior, had that day not happened three years ago, would you be sitting here? Maybe not this time and place. Um, I've always wanted to dedicate my life to public service. And um, I, I wanted, you know, my, my plan to serve a full career at the Capitol Police, um, retire, and then maybe consider that. Mm. Um, January 6th did happen, though, and uh, I feel like we're at a moment right now where we can't stand around and wait. I can't wait until I have the opportunity to retire because I do believe, and I've said it before, I think we're one election cycle away from the extinction of our democracy as we know it. Mm. You know, your um, ad that you used to launch your campaign, I thought it was very powerful, and it juxtaposed the imagery of January 6th, yeah. that day at the Capitol. I want to play some of that ad for folks right now. Yeah. We can't ever let this happen again. And you've heard it from Trump himself. He is hell-bent on finishing what he started this day. I'm stepping into a new role today, but I can't do it alone. I believe every one of us has a role to play in this fight. So join me. We've got a democracy to protect. Mm, very powerful ad. Uh, the race that you are jumping into, there's a lot of, lot of uh, aspiring members of Congress. Why you over everyone else in this primary? Great question, right? You know, um, I'm not a career politician. I am a career public servant. Uh, what I do believe is right now we're in a moment um, in this, in this uh, experiment that we're um, embarking upon in, in American democracy. We're, I refer to it as a moment. If January 6th didn't happen, maybe I'm not the guy for this job. But I've already shown that I've been willing to stand up and fight back and do everything I can to defend democracy. And that includes protecting members of Congress who I disagree with um, and ones who have called me a liar and called whitewashed and downplayed everything that me and my coworkers went through. Um, I'm able to stand up, and I've been doing that. Also, I resigned from the Capitol Police four years short of being able to collect a full retirement, to collect a full pension. I walked away from the job because I believe the demo is that important, and we can't wait. Um, with all due respect to the other candidates, a lot of them, if, they, if and when they lose this primary, they go right back to their jobs in Annapolis. So I understand that it's a crowded field, and I respect all of them, but this moment right now, I, I do believe that I'm the right person for the job. Uh, President Trump, former President Trump, the ex-president, honey, he uh, had a, a lot to say yesterday, yeah. and I want to play some of that for folks okay. right now. Mr. President, do you regret any of your actions on January 6th? You, do you regret any of your actions on January 6th? Mr. President, Mr. President, did you intend to, intend to stay in power on January 6th? Okay, that's Donald Trump ignoring questions. Yeah. <laughs> uh, nothing groundbreaking there. Yeah. There's something else I want to play. I think this is Donald Trump yesterday. And with your help, we're going to bring back our country. We're going to bring it back from hell because this country has been in hell. What they've done, and they ought to, you know what they ought to do? They ought to release the J6 hostages. They've suffered enough. They ought to release them. I call them hostages. Some people call them prisoners. I call them hostages. Release the J6 hostages, Joe. Release them, Joe. You can do it real easy, Joe. 
referring to the um, insurrectionists as hostages, Elise Stefanik, with whom mm -hmm. you, if you are elected, you would likely serve with in this Congress. She, too, echoed Donald Trump's words um, on Meet the Press today. How do you push back against that? And, and then, just to add a finer point on it, we talk about democracy. Um, there's some people out there that say, hey, there's only a subset of folks that care about voting for democracy. Yeah. What about the economy? What do, you, what, do you, what do you say to that criticism that your argument is not uh, a fool someone that speaks to the wide electorate. You know, the, the funny thing about that is that tracks with Donald Trump. He doesn't think he did anything wrong. So, of course, he say, doesn't think individuals on January 6th did anything wrong. And um, he'll have to answer for that um, hopefully soon in the court, once the Supreme Court um, hopefully does the right thing and allows that um, immunity claim to not even stand. Um, because you re refer to it, I mean, if you remember back, at first, he, he's changed his tune about January 6th so many times, about that he didn't do anything. And then if he did do something, he's immune to it. So which which one is it? So he's flip up. So that, that tracks. Um, with regards to people talking about, you know, it's so much more than just democracy and the economy and everything like that, my argument is that all these things that are under attack, the uh, women's voting, uh, excuse me, women's access to choose for health care, um, access to voting rights, uh, common sense gun reform. I do believe all of those fall under the umbrella of democracy. Uh, if we have a dictator, even if just for a day, then what, what becomes of it? What he wants goes then at that point. So he's already come out against those those issues. So I do believe, yes, I, I align with democratic principles and values, but... If we don't have those, if we don't have a democracy, that goes out the window. Hmm. Seems straightforward to me, Harry Dunn. We will be watching this race. Harry Dunn, former Capitol Hill police officer, yep. now candidate, candidate for Congress. Harry Dunn, candidate Harry Harry Dunn, Dunn. for Congress.com. Check it out. Um, donate. I can't do it without this country and the people of Maryland's 3rd District. So thank you. Thank you.